For hundreds of years, it was a common belief that the bounty of the seas was vast and endless. The absence of fishing regulations in the early years of the United States history reflected the idea that the oceans could not be overexploited. Unfortunately, that belief didn't hold true as demand for seafood increased and more people entered the fisheries. In the years working up to the creation of the Fisheries Conservation and Management Act, now known as the Magnus and Stevens Act, it became apparent that some species were becoming increasingly difficult to find and harvest. Fishermen in the Gulf of Mexico began to experience a decline in the king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, and red snapper population. Fisheries management shifted as people began to realize that a threshold exists and if too many fish are harvested, the fish stock will decline and might eventually reach a point where it cannot recover. To avoid this fate, fisheries managers began to put limits and restrictions on fishermen in hopes of controlling the harvest so that healthy fish stocks could be maintained for years to come. The number of fishermen in the Gulf has continued to increase and technological advances like boat motors and GPS systems have made fishermen more efficient users of the resource. In recent years, increases in fishing pressure have been answered with shorter fishing seasons, smaller slot limits, and a variety of other management options that are designed to ensure that fish stocks do not decline to unhealthy levels. For over 30 years, the Gulf Council has worked under the Magnuson-Stevens Act to determine what management alternatives will end overfishing and rebuild fish stocks that are overfished while providing the greatest benefit to the nation. The end goal is to ensure that healthy fish stocks and fishing communities continue to thrive for years to come. Visit www.gulfcouncil.org to learn more and to get involved.